Welcome to another match day vlog. This time it's for Macclesfield Town against Bradford City. The rearranged game, which was due to have been played on the 26th of October 2019, but got postponed due to waterlogged pitches after all the rain we had prior. This is a rearranged game. And EFL thought it, it would be played today since these two sides are out of the FA Cup. Mac lost to Kingstonian 4 0. Shrews Bradford lost to Shrewsbury in the replay. So, yeah, the only game in League 2 today that will take place today, I think. There's all the other sides of the League 2 in the FA Cup, you see. Uh, my score prediction today is going to be a 1 and 1-1 one, one draw with a goal from uh, Paddy Ozadaby. And Bradford City score, I think, will be... Uh, who's that danger man? He should be having Owen Doyle. He's, he's out on loan at Swindon, and he's League Two's current top scorer at the moment with 13 goals, I think. So, Owen Doyle, he should be still playing for Bradford City. I don't know any of Bradford's danger men. But, Macclesfield are going to put in a valiant effort because we're warriors, even if the payers do remain unpaid. Anyway, here ends this preview. I'll see you at the ground later. Honey, Seltman. Walking from Burger King, I've just had a nice bacon double cheeseburger XL meal. I'm now walking down to the ground now to watch the mighty Stiltman play the mighty Bradford City. Well, if you want another vlog next Saturday when we when the Cheshire Derby, then please comment down below. And then I'll see you next week and obviously at the Walls all the way. And then I'll be vlogging every single on every single weekend and every game I go to now. Depending on how depending on what the time all the time I've got. It's very frosty here today. But there's, there's still gonna be a game on. Anyway, I'll see you guys at the ground in a bit. Trio! Hi mate. Hi mate. You alright? You're mate. Thank you. Legendary. Hello. Hello. MTFC. The beautiful Moss Rose. Oh, yeah. Sure, prediction Ives there? Prediction. Yeah? Uh, one nil to the Shields. Good on you, mate. Come on, man. Come on. Yeah, mate. Silver, 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 silver. Hey, oh, silver. Silver. Give us a song, Ollie. Ollie, give you a song. Yeah. 
back to one clear on goal. Uh, Mack or Seal have a chance to score. Go on, you Silks. Go on, Fizzy, lad. Fuck off, Dono, you cunt. Wait, don't pass it, that block. And it's for him. Come on, Owen. Here we are. We're going to be announcing very soon 1 0 Bradford, very soon. Come on, Owen! The referee gives the all clear for the free kick. Deflected! And the cross comes in. Asking for a handball, but they're not going to get it. It's nearly half time, it's Macclesfield 1, Bradford nil. Jack McCourt penalty from a free kick. Uh, Jack McCourt penalty. Uh, and sent Richard O'Donnell the wrong way to put the Siltman 1 0 up. Bradford have had a few chances to get a goal, but they've missed them all. Owen Evans has kept them at, out really well, like he always does. Five clean sheets already for the Welsh kid this season. As Bradford have a chance. Cameron! Owen Evans! Good save! Save from Owen! Absolutely disgraceful scenes at the Mosfos as two Bradford players went down. Referee kicked out play to continue and the second half's just begun and Corey O'Keefe just had a shot block so then the referee realised there was a Bradford player down and now player's been called back. Still 1-0 to the back but it's disgusting how this has been allowed to happen. This is EFL corrupt referee and it is finest. Full time here, Macclesfield 1, Bradford City 1. And what can I say, yet again, negative shit from Dal McMahon, going 1-0 up and then sitting back, sitting back, sitting back, and then when we when we conceded a free kick, which actually should never have been, we go and fucking concede from yet another fucking set, from yet another set piece. Dal, boring McMahon, you need to actually go for the win when you go 1-0 up. Go for a few more goals and then go... Then, Try, try not to concede and, and do better at clearing set pieces. Not good enough. And the officials didn't help neither. But as I said, that was a dive from, I think, number seven for Bradford. And as a result, they whipped it in, scored. Bradford fans went wild, let a pyro off through, through on the pitch. And yeah, but do I think it's a right like point? Yes, I do, actually. But Bradford had a few... No one had a chance to win it in the end, really. 1-1's a fair result. Mac were the better team first half. We went one up. Bradford were the better team second half. They they won 1-0. A game of two halves yet again at the Moss Rose. Why is it always, when, whenever we go one up, we always sit back, 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 and then get punished? It's never... And keep if you keep bringing on Jacob Blythe instead of Joe Ironside, then... You must have a problem, Daryl. Jacob Blythe is a reality TV star, so he should, and he should be, because he's going out with Ollie Hagen. He shouldn't be a footballer. Anyway, my man of the match, I think, well, I'll give, I think I'll give it to uh, Jack McCourt, because he scored that pen to put, put us one up in the first half. And he, I think he had an all-round good game. And here ends this vlog. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe if you're new. Stay safe, be champions and swoosh. Cheer